Hello Summoners and welcome to another episode of Phaeology, the study of Fire Emblem Heroes. My name is Joel and but we're going to do a showcase you. today, but I do these a little different. And there's been some confusion when I show pieces of these within my daily videos, so I thought I would break this out. So the first thing I do when I get a new unit is I go to the simulator if it's available and start checking out all of the key matchups, all that great stuff. The next thing I do is I immediately take it into mock battles, whether it's my defenses or uh, other friends, and I try to see how the unit does versus common threats in an actual environment because simulations, they don't always capture exactly what's going to happen. Either you're too conservative or not conservative enough. So that is what this is. I like to take everything and look at how exactly it plays together. Now, as far as the build we're playing with, this is pretty much a stock Corrin. Um, she's amazing. I, I know you guys know this. This is not a surprise. Any brave weapon that puts out that much damage and has the ability to possibly self dance itself. I mean, it's going to be good, but how good? And what I would like to use this unit for is in a gale force situation. And I would like this particular unit to be a tank breaker. So all of those far save units that are so annoying in the Catria balls, that's what I would like to take out. What I have found is that as far as the special goes, and that's the only thing I've swapped out here. What happens is most of those units have some kind of guard effect on them. And I'm not going to win any heavy blade checks with Corrin against those units. <laughs> it's just not going to happen. So I figured I'd get a little bit of boost off of Miracle and possibly, you know, get an extra one up somewhere in there. Anyway, moving on, uh, I have shown this team in in my daily content. This is what I'm going to be using for most of my demonstrations. And there's one exception, but I think I've talked enough. Let's go ahead and jump in. All right, so right off the bat, I mean, the first question everyone oh, has yes. is Brave Hector, right? We'll this Does this unit oh, actually goodness. take out Brave Hector? And the short answer is yes. <laughs> There's a little bit of a caveat there. I have seen, so this is actually Brave Hector with the Hardy Fighter and Aegis. If I would have let that charge up, that wouldn't have been as easy. So scratch that off your list. Next we have, oh wait, is this Arden? What is this doing in here? Oh man, and I didn't black out Ilya's name. Oh, Ilya, oh, I'm so sorry. Oh boy, that, that doesn't look good. And, okay, Arden was no competition. Sorry about that, Ilya. I, I really meant to take that out of there. <laughs> Next we have Winter Jafar, and Winter Jafar represents a set of units. Your Winter Jafar, your Henriette, um, your Winter Cecilia, all of them with this build, Corn has trouble with it. I mean, you can see it here. Like, this does not go well. If you see this unit, pick another team. Like, Corrin is not the one you want against this. So, that brings us to... Iliana, who is the exception with these ranged armors. And the reason, of course, oh, is color it. advantage. Um, I, yeah, and I know a lot through. of you have this unit. This is just not the unit you want to use if you are designing your defense against Corrin. And if you're using Corrin, you're very, very happy to see this unit. <laughs> so next up, Fallen Edelgard. Oh, I love this so much. I did this so many different ways. I actually didn't think this unit was going to take her on while she was transformed. And I was very, very happily surprised. <laughs> now, I, this is on this defense. This defense creator would immediately tell me, well, we'll look at the situation you got yourself into, and there's no way you could win this match. And I know a lot of you in the comments are going to say the same thing. That's not really the point here. The point is, if I get into a situation where I need to take out Fallen Edelgard, can't I? Let's get to this last one, though, because this one's a little tougher. This is Ascendant Fjorm. Now, I did this a lot of different ways. <laughs> <laughs> Just so you know, I tried everything. You can see this is the different team here, and I've got a ruse on Ashra, and I've got, of course, the uh, the uh, damage acceleration 
through Moose Bell. Now, I mean, you're looking at this. I, this is spectacular, right? <laughs> this is absolute best case scenario. And she wins. <laughs> um, in an armor ball situation, it's not going to be too hard to get up there like that. The question you should be asking yourself is what's the most important piece of this, right? And the most important piece of this is the ruse. Once you get the ruse in there, then essentially what's going on is that ice mirror doesn't get to recharge a second time. The problem, of course, is for most of your teams like this, you're not going to have ruse available. So I have to say, if I'm looking at this kind of team and I have Fjorm up there, and obviously this is Niffle support, but it's that's going to be a lot of the things you see. I'm probably picking another team. All right, summoners, like I said, I wanted this to be a quick one. Real, uh, just a fast summary here. Wins, Brave Hector. I simmed Brave Edelgard. I didn't have her on there. She does very well versus Brave Edelgard. Fallen Edelgard, we saw that. Excellent. Probably even makes a plus 10. I haven't gotten one in the field just yet, but I'm, I'm fairly certain. A question mark is a Senate Fjorm, and that's going to be it's going to be dependent on your team and how you're feeling that day. As far as losses, any of these ranged armors that aren't named Ileana are going to really perform well versus Corrin. Like it, it's not a great matchup. And the last one I wanted to throw in here, and this is kind of a common thing. You want to watch out for any red mage that has any kind of resistance and in particular duo Sigurd most of the time you're going to want to be taking out the duo units so that you can then activate the duo skill duo Sigurd is not a good matchup at all he really does well against Corrin ah <sighs> summoners that is about it uh Hey, true to my word, I wanted to make this fast. I hope you guys are having a good day. Schedule an appointment with your fail just real soon and take care. <laughs>